Well, hello, and welcome here to Minecraft on the Arcadia server. I'm here in the Nether, which, with all these stairs up and down, is starting to feel like something out of the labyrinth. In fact, I'm fully expecting to run into David Bowie at any moment now, which would be disconcerting to say the least. But uh, I've been in here getting some uh, quartz, which I really, really, really need. And, oh. But I have that then, haven't I? Uh, unfortunately, I've only got a Silk Touch pickaxe with me, so I'm going to have to put these down and uh, remat at them later on. But uh, uh, that's not a problem. I want to see what's over there. And then I've also been told to be recording when I log on, which. Uh, means that somebody's played a prank but where's the harm in that? Ooh, what do we have here? okay let's get some armor on first and just in case let's eat something so we have full saturation let's find out If I says what I think it is, this should take us to. Ouch! This should take us to the jungle, which um, Mod made a little while ago. <laughs> Mod didn't make the jungle. Mod made the railway track. Mod and Mercy did an excellent job here. Um, right. So if it's as long as I think it is, I'm going to cut out here, and I shall bring you back in when we get a little bit closer to the other end. I'll see you in a moment. Well, I've just got on a rail, so I have been travelling for a kilometre at the least. Um, yes, good lord, look at this. Um, the spawn point is around about zero, zero, so yeah, we've uh, travelled well over a kilometre. Here comes another corner. Uh, we'll probably get near the end. This was this this end. This is this bit is lit, which means they were. Uh, they did it before they ran out of torches, so... Uh, let's see how we go here. Nearly done. See you at the end. Well, we're out about two kilometers now. And we seem to be in an area which is not pigment-proof, because I keep on running into them, having to jump out destroy the minecraft destroy the uh, the minecart run past the pigmen put the cart down jump back in and run away loads of fun but st still I'm quite impressed this is I think possibly the longest railway line I've seen so far yet yeah, we are well over two kilometers now so how much longer would it last I'll see you at the end I hope Hey, hey! No, 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 no! Right, stop there. Excellent. Okay, we are out, and we are at a portal at the other end. So, let's go see. You can tell it's a mod portal, it's extra wide. Mod makes extra wide portals, don't know why. I think he likes his personal space. Ah, right, here we are. Torch lit up there, torch lit down there. Any oh, let's do this one. Okay, it's probably the wrong one. We'll find out in a minute. E. Uh, right. Loads of resources down there. I'm probably going to come back here and mine this place. I don't know. I'm uh, always up for a bit of caving. Caving is fun. I'm starting to wonder if this is just a. What's this say? This way to ravine. This way to bedrock. I have no idea where I am. That's probably you can tell. Follow to portal. Let's go down here. 
probably want to go to the ravine, but uh, never mind. Let's see what is down here. And what's down here is a dead end. Okay, so what's down here? This looks like this has just been... People have been mining around this area. Trying to tunnel in and out. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go... Oh, what's this? Oop. A zombie swarmer. Okay, yeah. All right, let's just go to the ravine and see where that takes us. Hmm, I have a song in my head right now that I can't get rid of. And it's only going to make sense to anyone who's a British viewer of a certain age. Yes. Underground, overground, zombling free. This is not the way to go. I do love these clear, well laid out paths. What about down here? Well, we are in a we are in a jungle temple by the looks of it, one that's been stripped out, unfortunately, but uh, fairly good indication that we are in the uh, in a jungle. Indeed, look it out there. Yes. So we have a jungle, which means jungle wood and cocoa beans and melons and all sorts of wonderful things. In fact, before I go back, and I will just head back now, I'm going to avail myself of a little bit of jungle stuff. So I'll talk to you all in a little bit. Okay, we are back. Let's go and see what's happened in our absence. No idea what's happening here, so... Your guess is this as good as mine? Uh, right, we've got a new building here by the looks of it. Okay. Name printing. Opening soon. It's a something or other shop. What we got in here? Uh, any tool? Any, any material? Don't just stick to weapons. Non-lethal tools too. So it's going to be a tool shop. Limited availability on enchanting. Ask for details. I'm available in all flavors. Made to order. Oh, I could take advantage of that. Uh, all your tooling needs under one roof. This looks interesting. It's kind of built on where I wanted to build a shop, but I will make uh, space for this, I think. Nice building. Looks good. Looks good. And this room is a room. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, that might have to stay. <laughs> Far fetched. Uh, are you one of mine, Cullens? No, you're not, are you? Simon, we found a far-fetched on the roof. Modern Mersai. Well, thanks, guys. I, I really like that. That's great. <laughs> uh, there you go. And for the sake of uh, Dragon Wolf Tamer, there you go. That's what a far-fetch behind looks like. Uh, there you go. It's not that much different. I I like that. That's 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 pretty wonderful. I thank you very much, guys. I'm I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I might forgive you for all the nasty names you called me mod. I don't know, it's not going to happen, but I might. Okay, right. I need to do a build. And uh, I've been promising uh, 
whip I would make her an automatic chicken farm for about a week now and I haven't been good with my promises so I'm just gonna go and uh, get some resources and then we'll go over there and we'll have a little chat about what I want to build so I'll see you guys in a moment okay here we are we are at Whipstitch's house and this is her farm and I've been promising her for quite a while now that I would make her an automatic chicken farm which I'm going to do here it's going to be a bit like the one that I created for clucking good chicken but this one's going to create raw chicken instead of um, instead of cooked so okay here we are we are at Whipstitch's house and this is her farm and I've been promising her for quite a while now that I would make her an automatic chicken farm which I'm going to do here it's going to be a bit like the one that I created for clucking good chicken but this one's going to create raw chicken instead of um, instead of cooked so uh, I need some oh there's my hoppers there's the chests I need so we're going to start off with some chests and this chest is going to be for chicken this chest is going to be for uh, anything else so it would really be feathers to be totally honest with you so that will fill up with feathers and the rest of the farm is going to be about that big we'll fill the rest in later on so what I need to do now is to start setting up some hoppers so that uh, chicken can be sent into this f f um, this one here like that and everything else can be sent into this one here so we'll do that like this now we set up these hoppers here these bottom ones point into the chest this one points into there now I'm going to put another hopper there and another hopper there and then I'm going to come in and is that that's my silk touch pickaxe I don't need a silk touch pickaxe for this I'm going to take that one out because we don't actually need it. It was just there so I could put this hopper in easily. Now, this hopper, as you can see, is not pointing into there. And the reasons for that is um, we only want this hopper to let through chicken. Uh, so I will set that up now. Okay. So. Is they, uh, okay, right, actually, let's let's do that again. Let's do that a bit more intelligently. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to set up chickens just to the point where it will go through. Actually, I need to wait a moment. I haven't done something yet, which is important. Um, so what I need now is some stone, and the stone will go here and here and I need to dig out a little bit underneath this one so I need to dig out this cobblestone okay and need to dig out here as well and there's reasons for this which I'll get into a second and it's because of the circuitry I want to put in so the circuitry is going to go here and I want some I want a repeater and I want some dust so let's take those out of my bar for a sec let's just put those in the repeater will go here that's pointing the right way that's good and the dust will go here and here and finally we want a redstone torch under there so we'll put that there like that okay now The interesting thing about this torch is that now it's going to stop things from going through this hopper. This hopper is turned off. Um, it could, in that, it would, so in order to get a hot, anything through there, we need to put um, we need to put a redstone signal around here and to this torch to turn it off. So we can use this hopper above here. To uh, put things in. as you can see, this one doesn't actually work now. All right, uh, put some chicken in there. It's going to live in there. Nothing will go down here because this this hopper doesn't point in here. Okay, so this hopper is actually sucking stuff out of here rather than this top hopper pushing down. 
So the only time that is, this hopper is going to work is when the signal goes down this redstone. You notice there's some particle effects above that now. Down to this redstone, down to this repeater to turn that torch off. And in order to do that, we need to have enough items in here to create a redstone signal. So what we do is we fill this up with chicken and we start putting chicken in until one of them actually feeds through. And that's going to happen around about 18, I think. There you see. 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18. Okay. So now if a chicken falls in here, then it will go down to this hopper and then eventually through to the chest. Okay. One lives in there. So what happens is a chicken falls into here, which pushes the wild chicken into there, which goes into the chest. So now all we need to do is link these all up which we can do surprise surprise with more hoppers and we're going to do it like this we'll take these hoppers here and we'll link one up to that one and we'll link one up to that one and we'll get off this hopper because we want to link one up to that one and then finally one up to that one and now if we open this up I'm going to put in a piece of quartz disappears and I'm going to put in a raw chicken it disappears okay but the chicken has gone down here and the quartz has gone down here and I've proved that again just in case there you go there are now no chicken in this chest so if a raw chicken comes down here it ends up in the chest so this chest will be chicken this chest will be everything else now what we need to do is actually get the stuff into the chicken into these these hoppers and we should do that first of all with a dropper so we shall have the dropper here and that's going to point downwards hold on a sec don't want the dropper there um right actually this is going all right what we actually want here is a half slab I do apologize I've got one step ahead of myself there for a reason that's for some reason okay right so the half slab here and we actually want to build in front of this now so i'll put a piece of stone there like that so we'll build in front of this start building the structure up here okay and like that we can't put stone slab stone blocks here and we can't put them here because they will stop the chest from opening so we'll just do that for now and one there so I'll get up there that's, that's nice and easy isn't it there it is so good right now here is where the chickens are going to live so what we want to do is we want to do like that like that like that like that and like that because baby chickens can live in that half slab gap but as soon as they grow up they suffocate because their heads will be in this block here and that is a core part of the chicken farm let's actually put some have some cheaper blocks yeah put these here like that so we can look in here now, I'm going to put some glass here before we finish this uh, because I want people to be able to see what happens in here. Okay, so that's that bit. And then we need to start working behind here. So we'll put block there, block there, and a block there. And now we need to go down a level, so what I'll do is I'll start filling in down here, and I'll show you why in a sec. This is going to be where the farm is controlled, so we need that space there, and let's put ourselves that a little step up there. We'll fill it, be filling all this in later on, and in here we need to put the uh, the dropper, but we need to put it in the other side, so we it's shooting forwards effectively so let's put some blocks down here and 
we need to take that one out for a sec. And we shall put the dropper in here. Right, sorry, just had to answer a uh, knock at the door there, which was rather annoying given the time of the evening, but uh, there we go. Right, uh, so yes, we were going to put a, uh, a dropper in here. Which I no longer appear to have. That's why must have dropped it at some point okay so dropper goes here no not like that the dropper needs to point forward so we need to be a bit further back looking at the ground there we go that's now pointing forwards and then we put some circuitry behind that we put a comparator behind that a repeater like that and a repeater like that and then the rest of it is going to be redstone dust which is going to go like that like that like that like that like that and like that so as you can see the comparator gets a signal it enhance the repeater enhances it and then it goes two ways the first place it goes into that block here and the second place goes into back into the comparator so if you see now we put a couple of sticks in there you see those sticks have been fired out and what happens here is, well actually let's put a few more in and then you can actually see it in action. So sticks are cheap, don't mind sticks being used like this. Okay, so the signal is coming out here and then this side is turning back into the comparator which is saying, okay, receive the signal, you can turn yourself off now. So it turns it off, uh, but the other side of the signal comes out into this block here, okay, so that that block, that signal goes back into the dropper, which tells it to fire the stick out here, okay, which will we actually, what we were using this for in the end is eggs, okay, so what will happen is the eggs will go into this, this dropper and they'll get fired out into here, they'll hit a wall here, and they'll make a baby chicken, and that baby chicken will live a long and happy life until it becomes an adult where it will suffocate with its head in that block there okay so let's go and get those sticks back they're not chickens so they go right the way through the system like that so okay so where are we we have okay we've made the dropper that bit's working now we need to make the chicken farm above it so we need some more droppers uh, there's a little more hoppers rather so that hopper they go in there that hopper will go in there and that hopper will go in there and I want to make this a bit larger so I actually want some more hoppers to feed into this and by chance I noticed there was some in this chest here so I hope you guys don't mind I'm going to pilfer six of these in the making of your farm and I'm going to use these here and they're going to make a nice big um, area for the trick chickens to breed on so Ooh. okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to do one pointing into there and one pointing into there and then all we need to do is point them into the front ones like that so now we have a nice big surface here which you can barely see unfortunately that's where the chick the, the first set of chickens are going to live and they're going to they they they're never going to get killed they're just going to live there and they're going to lay eggs for all eternity okay so we give them a nice big space so they're comfortable and i just want to fill this in a little bit so we just have the structure in place i'm going to need to finalize this and just build around it later on but this will be enough for now like that so we have built around there and build on there hello creepy rabbits run out of 
of stone? Yeah, I've run out of stone. Um, I don't want to use blocks of iron. I'm going to use blocks of dirt for a second, and I'll come back and fill this in and make it neat later on. Oh, that nice 1.8 bug. You've got to love that. Right, okay, so we'll just put some, some dirt here. Like this. And just need to finish it off, so let's get up here. that and looks like we don't quite have enough space here so I'm gonna to have to go up to the roof to finish this off I think so like that uh, so before we go up to the roof I have any wood oh, I have these jungle wood planks I think they're gonna to have to be sacrificed in the name of the greater good and it's so we'll have some of that because what I want is a trapdoor. And we'll go up on the roof and put that in. So there it is. And let's just go outside, it'll be easier. Hello, chicken. And let's get up to the roof. Okay, so just need to dig down for a sec here. There we go. We're on the actually we're now on the chicken farm roof here, so I no need for that to be, that slab to be in via my inventory. So let's put that back there, and. This is all nice and neat, so I'm assuming that this is the chicken farm. Let's have a quick look. No, nope, that's the rabbit farm, so this must be the chicken farm. This is the chicken farm, and we'll put the trap door in. Yep, this looks this looks like a good space. Okay, so um, as we fall it in, we're actually going to need a way out of this. Yep, this will do. Okay, now let's go and open that up. And we'll open this up so we can get out. We shall put our trapdoor up here and get out this way. There we go. So now let's just fill in that gap here. First of all, the roof. And secondly, piece of dirt there so we still got that enclosed area and now we just need to get back up to the roof there and put some hatch some eggs in there okay so I've got a stack on me but I'm just gonna grab some more because you never can tell with the uh, chickens unfortunately with eggs they are very erratic sometimes you'll get five chickens out of one egg sometimes you go through a stack and not get a single thing so let's just get up onto the roof some steps actually let's do that slightly differently because I didn't notice that roofing slab so we'll put one there I'll do. and me saying that I could put that slab back was a bit wrong because here we go again e all right and there we go. Okay, so let's start neatening things up as we're going along here because we're nearly done. So we're going to put that slab there. Right, so we open this trap door up. And now what we want to do is just start firing these eggs down here until we get some chickens. There's one. Don't want to hit him. Not that eggs do damage, but I don't think eggs actually hatch if they hit other, uh, other animals. They've got to hit solid objects. I want, want more than one. There's some chickens. Right, let's get these other stacks done. Right, that's enough for now. We'll close this. And that's it. 
that is the job done. Okay, so all we need to do now is, in fact, we'll go down through here and surprise a rabbit. There we go. This is the whole job done. Now all we need to do is tidy things up, uh, which I'm going to do and just do some design work around this. I'll do that off camera because you don't guys don't need to see it really. But there's the job finished. We actually have a working chicken farm. So I'll be back in a second with um, when I finish doing the design work. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we are done. I tidied this up a little bit. Um, we used less space than I initially thought. So seven by seven would probably have done. But never mind. The chickens have grown up here at the top and I put down some carpet for them to live on quite comfortably and some steps up here onto where the chap door is on the roof so that's easy to get to you don't need to knock a hole in the ceiling anymore so that is all all done they started producing some eggs those eggs here as you can see are producing chicks down here one thing um, I replaced the dropper back there with the dispenser. The dispenser has a bit more power when it fires them. So it was hit. Uh, the dispenser was actually firing the eggs at this piece of glass here and making them hatch, whereas the dropper was just dropping them down into the uh, the hoppers below. So all we were doing was the eggs were just coming out here into this chest. So that now works, and as you can see, we have started to produce raw chicken. Um, so there we go. Uh, this now is completely adjustable by the number of chickens that are up at the top here. If you want more chickens produced, you produce you put more chickens in here. If uh, this area gets overly crowded, it's simplicity now to make this larger. You just add more hoppers and the ray here, um, cover them off, put more chickens inside. Uh, the little chicks down here are quite comfortable in this area here and as soon as they age up they suffocate and they end up going through the sorter with a chicken in here. So there we go, that's it done. There is um, a chicken farm, an automatic chicken farm, which produces raw chicken as opposed to cooked. If you wanted to make cooked chicken, you would need to take this block here and replace it with lava. It's as simple as that. So, okay, uh, I think we are done here. Um, so, until the next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been the Arcadia server. Thank you and good night. Thank you.